Yeah, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you from wherever you are watching from. Welcome back to my channel, Extensible. Right, someone messaged me on WhatsApp saying uh, he needs to know how to record his uh, service online. And I told him I use Audacity to record my audio. So he said he doesn't have to use Audacity. And I told him, okay, I can help with it. I can do a tutorial video on that. And just in case anyone out there also is looking for how to uh, use Audacity or how to record your service online, audio service. All right, so this is how to use Audacity. So stay tuned, don't forget my name. It's a and this is accessible production. All right, so in case you don't have Audacity, just search for Audacity, download for Windows. Yes, it's in your Audacity download, and put it that way. Search for Audacity download, and I should see the link here audacitytin.org. So we can press down for Windows, I just press download. And the one here, click it, and I think it should download this. So it does recommend it downloading, it, and it should be downloading over here. Okay. But since I have it already, I won't be installing it. So just download it and install. After that, you can you are maybe using the data to be it or I don't know, but I think most system are using for bit though. So you can install your data to be system actually, and yes, this is the system requirements for it. If uh, this one Windows. Windows 10, Windows 11 works on Windows 8 also, and the rest like that. Okay, so download the Audacity, install it, and then when you open it, it should be something like this. Audacity. Okay. So once you open it, I'm not going to show you, you know, welcome to Audacity, blah, 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 and just, okay. So I'm just going to be recording a short stuff showing you how to record and how to do a little bit of um, editing after the recording. All right. So this is my recording option over here. This is Audacity, generally speaking. Let me make it full screen so in case we, we can't see it. This is your files here. You have to open new, open windows, open recent, save project stuff. All right. So I'm just going to be going straight to how to record. In your recording, once you have uh, connected your uh, sound card, yes, once you have your sound card, to your system and like audio is actually coming in your system just like your audio you're using with your vmix or any audio at all even if it's visible like 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 from that example i'm saying visible like it goes to your audio setup over here this audio setup okay because people are saying they can't actually see it that's how i'm kind of zooming in. so your audio setup over here you click it and you should see some options like playback device recording device and stuff so your recording device is what you want to go to so your recording device this is all the audio recording i have over here so we're going to be using this mic this mic is actually usb pmp yes microphone usb because i'm using a usb sound card for it all right so once you have selected your recording device usb pmp your playback device if you want to play audio what should you use for your playing audio i use my headphone i have a speaker here connected so the speaker is connected to the headphone part all right so once that is done, you can just click your record button over here, record. Or you can just press your um, letter R, like you see here. Just press the letter R. All right. So once I click, it's going to start recording like this. And you can see it moving over here in this bar here. You can see it moving. The one I'm talking, the more is moving. And if it's too loud, you can actually reduce the level. I don't know what you like. Yeah, I think this is 7 to 6, 7 to 7. Let me say 7 to 6. Should be good. Yeah, so it's one, whatever. Okay, so you see that it's kind of now limited in a way since I'm not really shouting. So let me just put it in 100 since I have a little mix I have to reduce the volume so it won't be down now. Alright, so this is it here. This is everything I'm doing. Okay, so once you're done with that, once I don't show it, um, recording your service or whatever you're recording, you can just use the space bar to pause or you can see your pause button over here also. Stop. So once we click stop, it stops. Or once you click the play bar, it stops the space bar rather. And if you want to play it also, hit the space bar. Damn it. And yeah, well, I don't want to actually be sense. It's not a bit fashion with my mic. So I'm going to up the sound here. So that's any plane over here. See it here plane. Well, so this is what is actually going on. You know, all that I've said, all that, all that is recorded. All right. So if you want to zoom in, you can use your controls one control one to zoom in get i want to three to zoom out to see it fully then you can use your control two to like check it with medium size i guess so control three control one 
Okay, so this is good. Then we can just analyze everything. This is what I do to like just have a little bit of edits to denoise it and stuff like that. So use your controls A to alight it, alight all the overlap. Then you go to your effect, your effect okay. And because then you go to the effect over here, then you go to your noise remover RP. Noise remover RP you see noise reduction. So this is just how you click it and it will show you get noise profile. So we want to get the noise profile first before we because you know different audios have different noise. So this audio we don't want to get noise profile for the noise. So we click on get noise profile and it should be loading. Just because the audio is short, that's why you didn't actually load. But if you already like an hour audio or maybe two hours or 30 minutes, it should like load a little bit. Just depending on how fast the system is and how your audio is. Right. So after that, go back to the noise um, effects again. Then noise removal. Then we go to noise reduction. Now that we're already using the audio, the the noise profile. Want to actually uh, reduce the noise? So we're going to click OK over here. Okay, and now it's loading with using the noise reduction. So that I kind of reduced it a little bit. All right. So after that, all I do is just since it has reduced a little bit, the audio also uh, reduce, reduce like that. So I just go to effect and I go to volume and compression and I amplify it a little bit. Then they'll show me the like you know default amplification because like you know it's like let's say audacity kind of moves the level of audio your audio should be so if it's like a very low audio you want to put, put it like in 12 or something like that so once you put that just press apply and it should be applying because it's not much again so it goes on time and after that you can basically that's what i just do but at times i just um normalize it in a way like press ok normalize then basically that's oh nothing special to do no you have to feed in and fade out just select the part you want to fade in and use your effects, okay, let me zoom in, use your effects over here, I just go to, uh, yes, fade in, then go to fade in, so that beginning part should fade in, and if you want to fade out over here, it can be longer at times, then you go to your analyze uh, effects, rather, go to fade in, and go to fade out, then it should fade out, then this is your audio, and you realize it's kind of actually smarter, more, um, Less noise and put that way. Less noise. Yeah. So after that is done, you can actually export it. You go to your files over here, go to export audio. All I just do is using this um shortcut, Ctrl Shift E. Just press your Ctrl Shift E and you see it export audio. So you put in your file name, like let's say tutorial. Tutorial. Okay, I will use a couple of to say tutorial audio. Then what else? That's all I guess. The, um, your folder where is saving to so saving to my documents. It is a folder name there. Oh, that's the, I kind of like it that way. And if you want to actually change some things, like you know, some music player you open it and you to play on your phone, like in uh, your music player, you see something like artists, like they know the part of the name, the type, the artists that sign the song. I'm sorry, my I don't know my English is so much. Okay, so like there's artist parts, there's track. There is track type, so there is year of release, album, address, and that's you see all that in edit metadata. So once you edit metadata, you see the artist name, put in the artist name, let's say artist name extensive or artist type 2 tutorial. I've chopped that right there. Oh, that's our script tutorial. Tutorial album type 2, let's say order 16. Ah, whatever. So that, that, that's year 2024. Then what else? Nothing else. Okay. So after that, once you press OK and once you export it, then it's going to export depending on how long the audio is. Then once you enter your, where you saved to go to your document, then you go to your other oh, folder. This is it over here. And if you see it, yeah, this is all that I've recorded. I haven't recorded today. That is 29. Yes, today, Thursday, 29. So this is the audio tutorial. I want to um kind of check the details. Uh, where did you check the details and you understand? Uh, Windows 11 rather. Check properties, you're gonna see it like, you know, like so this is this, uh, look at album, what does it see, when the person has this, it's sensible. It's like official something, in a way. I kind of like it that way. So this is how you record your audio using Audacity. And if you want to save it, in case you want to re-edit it, you want to save it, 
I will save the file, save project. Then you say projects and name it. Okay, you're saving it to your computer. You want to use cloud, you can use cloud. I'm sorry to my computer, then in case I want to re edit it for something, maybe for now I don't want to edit it, I want to send it to someone to edit it on his own. So we will save it as maybe the dates. I still save the, on the, uh, the project as the dates that like 29 August. I so no more. Okay. Let me remove the, this, the time of August and save. Then you see, then in case you want to open it, you can already edit it. And that is how you record your audio using Audacity. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget my name. You have a lot of comment. This is extensible. If you like this video, please don't hesitate to like, uh, subscribe, share to family, to loved ones, friends. Comment also, uh, showing your gratitude and appreciation. Thank you very much for watching. I want to post some more videos on Gmix, Easy Worship, Bible Show. Basically, everything you need to live stream to your church or for your church or for any organization, not only necessarily church, but organization for your companies and also. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, my name again is Wasakomi and this is Extra Asimov.